What's up guys, how's it going? In today's video, I have a homemade forge. So this is the forge I was talking about in the other video I was gonna put together. Well, the forge is built out of two propane bottles. I've just cut the bottoms off the propane bottle, you can see there and I've connected them together, I've welded them together, and I've just mounted it onto this old chair. This was an old office chair, and what I've done for the blower, I've just hooked up two tubes going from each propane bottle where the taps were on the, the top of the propane bottle, and they're just welded to that, and that's connected to the blower fan. So the tubes were just from a satellite dish mounting bracket, and the blower fan, I'm not sure where that's from. Uh, I think it's out of a heater, it could be out of a small dryer. It has heating elements on it, which I disconnected, so I'm not really sure uh, what that's from, but you could use an old hair dryer or something like that. Now, what I'll do is I'll plug it in and show you the, the airflow. I've attached a three-pronged cord to it. All right, so the blower fan's on and, and there's, there's a little bit of flow coming out. It's enough just to get the fire going. So this thing was intended to be a forge, but you could also use it as a barbecue or you could put a grate on top and you could put a, a kettle on top and boil water, whatever. You could use one propane bottle at a time. You don't have to have both of them going. So this thing has many different uses. Uh, also, you can put the lids back on the top over here and you can place them on top to get it really hot inside. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start it up show you guys how it works because I've obviously already had it going and then um, I'll go back in time and show you a little bit of the process of how I put it together. Let's plug in the blower and see. That makes a way better campfire too, because it, it gets going really quick. I just have the fire going in one of the propane bottles, because there's really no point in having both of them. And I've just shoved a stick into this one so you get more, more air coming through that one. So I've just put the lid on one side of the forge and I have a piece of rebar in there. It's been in there for a couple minutes anyway, maybe 10 minutes or so. Let's pull it out and see uh, what's going on. It wasn't right in the coals. Oh, okay. Well, that looks good. So I've done one more modification. I cut a little flap here to allow the blade to slide through or the piece of stock to slide through and then I can work my way up, uh, farther up the piece of stock. So I've been putting honey locusts in here. So it's a really, really hard wood. It puts out a lot of heat, and I've noticed that the steel gets a lot hotter quicker. And basically, that's what you want. Uh, if I had coal, that'd be great. But So I have a lot of wood around here, so I might as well just use uh, hardwood instead of going and buying coal or, or charcoal. So I filled the other tank full of water. Now I'm gonna fill this one and we're just going to make sure that all the gas is out of the tank. If you look carefully as you're putting the water in, you might actually see some vapor come out of the tank. And that is what you want to get out of the tank. So basically, I don't see anything with this tank. The other one, I did see a little bit of vapor coming out. So we're going to fill it right up. We're going to make sure that this tank is inert, so there's no gas in the tank whatsoever. It's completely... Uh, drain evacuated or any gas is out of it. You'll see the bubbles So you want to keep filling it until all the bubbles come out make a four inch opening. Let 
doesn't look so good. So, I'm just going to basically draw on my little door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend these. I'm not going to cut them off. And then I can fold them into the other tank and weld it. That's good enough. It's not rocket science here. Let's just cut this out. And then I'm going to join them together. So I'll have to sit like that. And then I'm going to bend the tabs in. And I'm going to weld in a little piece to hold it. So I'm going to weld it first and then I'm going to bend these down. So let's get to that. All right, so I'm going to cut these tabs off, and then I'm going to use them to weld in. I'm going to weld in that little piece of metal there, and then I'm going to weld in the other one. really thin so I'm gonna have to be very careful welding this I have the machine on the minimum setting so let's let's try it So I've welded these tubes in here, so I've extended it up because I need the fire closer, the coals to be around here So because I'm, I only have this much height. So basically I've put this tube in and then I've put the sand in here and it's brought it up. Now you'd probably want to use uh, like a fire cement, uh, a cement for this, but I'm going to try out the sand. I don't have any cement right now, so I can always take it out. It's easy. I'm not going to paint it until I burn off all this, this old paint on the propane bottle first. So basically we'll get it nice and hot and then once that paint burns off then I can throw a coat of uh, wood stove paint on it. Make it look a little better because it doesn't look very good. <laughs> uh, nothing I really make looks that great but what are you going to do? Alright guys so here are my forged blades. This is the first one, the dagger that I put together. It's built from the rebar. I forged it in my propane bottle forge and you can see uh, the rebar there. So it's 5 8 rebar, and I've just flattened it out, uh, hammered on an edge, sort of, and then I ground an edge on after. I welded on these pieces of rebar out the side here. I put an apple handle on here, this piece of apple. I just cut it out of a log, and then sliced it around with a sawzall, and then I just rounded it on a belt sander. So this is a cool little zombie dagger here, zombie killing dagger. And then this one here is my mini rebar sword so it's a it's a fairly small sword it's really lightweight it only weighs like probably a pound or so and basically it has the apple handle on it um, I've just welded the rebar on at the base of the sword just like the other one and I've ground on an edge but I did not put a point on this one so it's not so dangerous this one could be used as a uh, uh, for a costume or something but still it kind of looks it looks real but it's just a decorative 
thing, like this one here. And I think they look pretty cool. That was the homemade forge built from old propane bottles, and thank you for watching.